This is On The Move with Andrea and Kim. Informative, inspirational. Join us as we bring you all the hot topics on current affairs, cultural diversities, relationships, empowerment tips, interviews from movers and shakers in and around our great city, and to get you through your day, right here on On The Move. Hello and welcome to another edition of On The Move, where we keep you informed and inspired. We have a great show lined up for you today, and today it's all about the youth. This segment is entitled Youth On The Move. The scripture says, you know, young men, I call upon you because you're strong. And we have some phenomenal young people in our midst today. Um, And the first one is going to be an author. I'm going to throw it over to Andrea, who's going to introduce her a little bit. Yes. So as Kim says, our youth are on the move. They're doing awesome things in our community and also on the globe. And I know this is where this young girl is going to go right now. So you have written a book. But before we get into the book, can you tell a little bit about yourself and let our people know who you are? I am a gymnast. And when I grow up, I want to be a brain surgeon. A brain surgeon. Did you hear that? Brain surgeon. Such aspiration. So tell us why you wrote this particular book. To tell young queens just like me that if they want to be, they could be anything they want, only if they put their mind to it. Their mind to it. Awesome. Awesome. And mom, what inspired you to get her involved in writing? It was an incident that happened at school um, around Father's Day. And with her father being absent, she felt really down. So I started speaking affirmations with my kids every morning and taught them that they can speak life into themselves and, you know, keep going. Right. And with these affirmations, that there are some affirmations in the book as well. Yes. Right? Yes. So we're going to get you to read a little portion of it and then to say some of the affirmations. Is that okay? Yes. All right. So go ahead. There may be some queens out there that's listening and we want to inspire them. Okay, go ahead. And when I get ready, I like to say, I am a beautiful young queen. Look at the glow that comes through my skin. I am happy, healthy, and strong today. I am blessed, and I am a blessing to all. I am surrounded by love, support, and positive people who believe in me and want me to succeed. I am tenacious, phenomenal, brilliant indeed. Creativity runs through me. I am open-minded and eager to learn. I welcome new challenges. I am calm, confident, and powerful. That is awesome. That is so amazing. How do you feel saying those words in in the mornings? It makes me happy. It makes you happy. And that's the intent to make queens all over the world very, very happy. So did did, did this book, did you just start writing this this year? Like, how did it come out? No, so we actually wrote this book a year ago. And when COVID hit, Um, I started working from home Mm -hmm. and my kids brought up their books. So I said, you know what? It's time for us to get it published. And we jumped on it. And it just basically... The rest is history. Yes. Now we have it. That's amazing. So it was a year. But Mm -hmm. with this time, with this era, just what's happening right now, in this day and age, it almost seemed like fate. It was a perfect timing. Yes. God just dropped this story into our souls, into our spirit. I did not know that the Black Lives Movement was going to happen. I did not know all these things were going to happen and take place in our world. And it fits so well. It fits so well. Right. Yeah. So to young queens out there, you can know just as Malaya is affirming that you are smart, you are tenacious. And we just want to hold that up or zoom in on that book so all the young queens can can see. see. See the representation, know that they are beautiful, they're black, regardless of where they come from, regardless if they have two parents or one, That's that they right. can be anything. They can be a brain surgeon, they yes. can be a doctor, they could be a lawyer, just about anything. All right, so where can we get a copy of your book? On Amazon. On Amazon. Did you hear that? You can pick up a copy, get your copy on Amazon. And also, what is what are you working on right now, a new project that you're working on? I'm working on my music video, my song, and my new book called The Boss Babes. Look at that. This young queen is on fire. 
queens out there, young queens out there, your age is no limitation. Nothing is a limitation. You can do anything if you put your mind to it. Awesome. That Thanks. is so true. And before you go, I know there's a project that you're also working on that mom is going to touch on before we let you go. So mom, can you touch on, because maybe, maybe there's a young queen out there that wants to be a part of what you're doing. Yes, definitely. So our next movement is Boss Babes, A Confession of a Young Queen. So we're looking for all entrepreneurs, um, young queens, to submit a chapter into the book. It's going to be a compilation of nine girls, aside with Malaya. So you can contact us at Queendom Solutions, and we can definitely get everything started out for you and get you on the move. All right. There you have it. So it's Queendom Solution. Parents out there having this dream, you can be a part of this anthology, change your child's life, and by virtue, change more children's life yes. um, and affect change so you can get at um, Queendom Solution uh, for more information. Thank you so much. We'll be right back after a short break. On the move. We'll be right back. Welcome back. And we are so excited to bring you our next guest. Well, how are you, Kazaya? I'm good. I'm great. How are you? I'm doing well. Welcome to On the Move. Thank you. And you are truly on the move. I was checking out your video the other day and I was like, what? I was, I was blown away, blown away by what you're doing. So tell our audience a bit about you and this project that you're working on. Okay. My name is Kazai Amador. I'm 15 years old and I just finished my first year in high school. I'm a singer, actress, dancer. I love anything of the arts and I'm so excited here to be here today. And thank you guys for having me. Oh my goodness, we are so, so excited, excited to, have to have you. Yes, and I was checking out your video, as I said the other day, mm -hmm. and I was truly, truly inspired. Um, Girl Boss. Tell us a bit about that. What is that movement about? Well, Girl Boss, it's all about empowerment. I love strong women. I am a strong woman. My mom is a strong woman. And I believe that through that message and through the help of God and through the support of your friends, you can always achieve your dreams and never give up. Uh, where does the motivation come from, this empowerment? Like, you're so young. You're a young <laughs> woman yourself. Yes. Um, where, where does that come from? Where, where does that all stem from? Um... I believe it comes from church and my family. My foundation, I have to say, is very amazing. I'm so thankful that I have that family. I have those friends who really push me to be a better person, to better my arts, to better my creative side. And so through that, I believe, is where it pushes me to be better and to be and to have amazing music and to have amazing dance and just to be a better person. That is so, so good. So amazing. Mm -hmm. So Girl Boss, that's the newest mm -hmm. song that you have right now. Yes. How many songs do you have out altogether? Is this your first one? Do you have some more? Are you working on some more projects? <laughs> what can you tell us? Well, Girl Boss was, is my first song out with a music video right now. I have other songs written, but are not out yet, so stay tuned. But I'm excited to share in the future, and I have some more exciting stuff coming up. I'm actually finishing a song right now that I'm recording during these COVID times at home in my home studio. And it's hard, but I'm getting it done. That is so good. And you're going to do a performance for us. But before mm -hmm. you do that, I just want you to look into the camera because there may be a young girl out there that's inspiring to be or to do what you're doing. Yeah. And how would you speak to them or motivate them? Well, what actually, I have a message and it's very simple. And I, and I want you to say this with me after. So I am a girl boss. You are a girl boss. Let's boss up. So one more time. I am a girl boss. You are a girl boss. Let's boss up. And now all together, I am a girl boss. You are a girl boss. Let's boss up. All, all right. right. Amazing. So all the girl thing. bosses oh out there God. watching, let's <laughs> boss up. Tell the viewers where they can find you. Check out Girl Boss, the upcoming projects, get motivated by you. Where can they find you? So you can find me at Kazai Amador on all platforms. And you can stream all my music on all music platforms, YouTube, Spotify, all of the above. That is awesome. So we are so thankful for you being on our show. Thank We're going to get ready for your performance. So again, if we don't have any more questions, we can move on, right? That's about it. We're excited to see it live and in living power. So stay with us for Kazaya's performance. We'll be right back after this. On the Move. We'll be right back. Gazing out my window, believing in the day, thinking about the possibilities flowing my way. I know 
know it won't be easy, but I know I gotta try. I've got the tools within me, and now here's the reason why. I'm a girl boss, yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. That's what I gotta be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. As fine as I can be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. That's what I gotta be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. As fine as I can be. Chasing dreams, got visions. I have it in my grasp. Giving it the best I have, I'm putting me on blast. Every day's a new beginning, I'll make it go my way. If the sky's the limit, well then, all I gotta say, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. That's what I gotta be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. As fine as I can be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. That's what I gotta be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. As fine as I can be. Get up, dress up, girl up, dust the doubt off, repeat. Get up, dress up, girl up, dust the doubt off, repeat. Get up, dress up, girl up, dust the doubt off, repeat. Get up, dress up, girl up, dust the doubt off, repeat. I'm a girl boss, yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. That's what I gotta be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. As fine as I can be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. That's what I gotta be, I'm a girl boss. Yeah, look at me, I'm a girl boss. As fine as I can be. That's who I gotta be. As fine as I can be. That's who I am indeed, I'm a girl boss. That's who I gotta be. As fine as I can be. That's who I am indeed, I'm a girl boss. That's who I gotta be, as fine as I can be. That's who I am indeed, I'm a girl boss. That's who I gotta be, as fine as I can be. That's who I am indeed, I'm a girl boss. That was an absolutely amazing performance that we had by Kaziah. Youth on the Mill, it's just been an amazing set. And welcome to our Inspirational Corner. I want to take you through this little story or this clip rather that I saw earlier this week. It was of a couple that was just on vacation. They were walking on the beach and lots of palm trees were there. And there was this one particular tree that was down, palm tree amongst all the other trees. And uh, it was just down there, the roots and everything. But when you look at where the leaves are supposed to be budding, mind you, this tree is not, doesn't have any root or anything, um, it started to form root. You can tell it's been lying there for quite some time. But the tree started to rebud against all odds. So if you can imagine, it's just a log lying down. Some roots start to reform where the roots was originally and where the bud is supposed to be or was supposed to be of this tree that's now on the ground, it started to shoot up and to bear new fruit. And it just dawned on me that against whatever odd, as this segment is about youth on the move, I just want to encourage the youth that there's no time let the present to be what you want to be and that no situation, no circumstance, um, nothing um, should define where you're going. Your current situation is not an indication of your potential. And that against all odds, like that coconut tree, you can do and be absolutely anything. And lastly, that it is so hard to beat a person who doesn't stop trying. So dare to dream, the sky is the limit. So this is On The Move, and we thank you so much for watching us on this segment. You can follow us on all social media platforms. We are on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. So until next time, take care and keep on moving. See you then. On The Move.